Audiobook Academy Biography Presents Octavia E. Butler Octavia E. Butler is a science fiction author who incorporates African-American spiritualism into her work. Pattern Master, Kindred, Dawn, and Parable of the Sower are some of her other works. In the 1970s, Octavia E. Butler began her writing career after attending numerous universities. Science fiction and African-American spiritualism met in her works. After writing Pattern Master, 1976, she went on to write the four-volume series Patternist. Following the success of Kindred, 1979, Butler also wrote Parable of the Sower, 1993, and Parable of the Talents, 1998, two books in his Parable series. When she died in 2006, she was still writing and putting out new works. Early Years A Pasadena, California native, Octavia Estelle Butler was born on June 22, 1947, and went on to create new ground in the field of science fiction as a woman and an African American. In a field dominated by white men, Butler prospered. She was reared by her mother after her father died while she was a child. Her mother worked as a maid to help pay the bills and provide for the family. Butler's shyness and height made her stand out among her peers when she was little. In spite of the difficulties she had as a reader, she never gave up on her dream of becoming a writer. As a child, Butler began writing her own stories. By the time she was 10, she had resolved to make writing her life's profession. At Pasadena City College, she got an associate degree. Butler also attended the Clarion Fiction Writers Workshop, where she learned from Harlan Ellison. Books, Patternist Series Butler worked a variety of jobs in order to make ends meet, but he also had a tight writing routine. She had a reputation for getting up early and working for long periods of time each day. Pattern Master, Butler's first novel, was released in 1976. Patternists, a group of people with telepathic powers, would eventually be the focus of this book. Mind of My Mind, 1977, Wild Seed, 1980, and Clay's Ark, 1981, are also relevant, 1984. Butler's publishing house rearranged the works into their Patternist series in a different reading order than when they were first published in chronological sequence. Butler's career took off when he starred in Kindred in 1979. An African-American woman travels back in time to save her own ancestor, a white slave owner. Some of Butler's ideas were drawn from her mother's writing. She once commented, I didn't like seeing her go through back doors, according to the New York Times. Because of all the humiliation my mother threw, I wouldn't have been able to eat or live comfortably. Because of this, I set out to write a novel that would allow others to feel what black people have had to endure, the anguish and dread that they have had to endure. Literary Accolades Writing science fiction can be a way for some authors to explore the realms of fantasy. Rather, it was a vehicle through which Butler could address some of the most pressing concerns of the human race. Because of her deep interest in the human condition, her art has a richness and complexity that is all her own. For her work in the 1980s, Butler began to gain critical acclaim. Speech Sounds, her Hugo Award-winning short story, was published in 1984. Blood Child received a Nebula Award and then a Hugo Award in the same year. Dawn, 1987, Adulthood Writes, 1988, and Amigo, 1989, were the three books of Butler's Xenogenesis Trilogy, 1989. Genetics and race are major themes in this book series. Humans breed with a race of extraterrestrials known as the Oonkali in order to ensure their mutual survival. Butler's trilogy has earned a lot of praise. The Parable of the Sower 1993, and The Parable of the Talents, 1994, were her next two works, 1998. Butler became the first science fiction writer to get a genius grant from the MacArthur Foundation in 1995, allowing her to purchase a home for her mother and herself. Later years, Butler left her home state of California for Seattle, Washington, in 1999. It took her several years to overcome writer's block since she was such a stickler for detail in her work. A combination of her health issues and the drugs she was on thwarted her efforts. Fledgling, 2005, Butler's final novel, was a new take on the subject of vampires and familial dynamics, the latter of which was a recurring motif in her writing. Butler passed away on February 24, 2006, in her Seattle home. Her age was 58. The literary world lost one of its greatest storytellers when she died. Tales that blurred the lines of demarcation between reality and fiction wrote Gregory Hampton in Callaloo. In addition, she revealed universal truths in her work. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. 
Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.